Hey, good morning, Sharon here. I'm gonna sneak a drink of coffee. Sharing with you just a little rundown on my new adventure and what I'm doing to transition my offline businesses to the online world, to my online businesses. It says it's not working, but it also says I'm live, so I always get confused by that. Not really sure about the technology, but I'm gonna keep talking because that's what I like to do. Love the hairdo, love the pajamas, that's me, pajamas. Grandma in pajamas every day. <clears throat> but that's because that's my planning time. In the morning, I like to get up. I like to think about and plan what I'm going to do today. And I've already started doing it. I um, am, pl am planning out a 30-day chronic pain challenge that I'm going to share with people that have, like me, chronic pain and have suffered from chronic pain for a long time. And as part of what I want to do, the 30-day challenge I came up with, I'm going to do that yesterday. And so now today, I'm brainstorming what just the topics for the 30 days so that I have a little framework and a guideline for myself to, to follow. And so I, I just, in a little pink notebook, just because that's the one I grabbed, I put, you know, 30 day chronic pain challenge. And then I just numbered one through 30 and I will map out the, the topics for each of those days so that I can share my process and what's worked for me and so many other people in dealing with chronic pain and living the life that we deserve to live, not, what we think we've been dealt by other entities like doctors and the universe and, and insurance companies and the government telling us what we have to do. So I, I, and as I was thinking about it, I thought, well, there's really three main areas of your life that, and probably more than that, but the three main ones that really affect your health are your mind, your body, and your spirit or your soul. And so I thought, well, I will, I'm not sure if I'm gonna alternate those, but I thought that might be a good idea and a good way to present the information because so many programs are, are overloaded with the brain and the thoughts and the thinking part and people don't like that. People don't like to be told, at least I know I don't like to be told, that I'm not thinking right or that I need to think a different way or I need to change my beliefs or my opinion. Nobody wants to be told that the way they've been thinking and the way they've been raised for, for 57 years is... <clears throat> limiting their beliefs or limiting their ability to create things in their lives. But guess what? We all are. Anything we don't have that we want right now, the only person stopping us from having that is us in between our two ears is the only thing stopping us from doing, being, and having absolutely anything that we want. Um, so I'm thinking maybe this time what I will do is I will divide it up and every day throughout the 30 days, I'll, I'll just cycle through and do mind, body, spirit, or soul. Mind, body, spirit, mind, body, spirit. And maybe I'll start with body, mind, spirit. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but you know, I've got till today to decide. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to brainstorm 10 mind type topics or processes, 10 body processes, physical processes, and then 10 spiritual or... Um, bigger, more expansive processes and, and things to talk about. And so then I'll have, I can divide that up during the day so that it's not all, you know, do all these things for your body, do all these things for your mind, do all these things for your spirit. Because really we are very complicated beings and we need to combine all those things and have all those things working together for us if we're going to tackle something like chronic pain. And there's lots of, lots of, Chronic pain is a really interesting and, and uh, different issue for people. Be and it's really interesting because medicine has not created a, a particular protocol for dealing with chronic pain. And I think part of that is because chronic pain stems from so many different sources and so many different root causes. And no one area of medicine or science has decided to, to attack that and, to, you know, Put a process to how do we deal with chronic pain? How do we walk people through managing and figuring out chronic pain because they are so different? It's not that hard. It's the same process for everyone, but it's kind of like the old corporate America, the whole silos and towers thing. Each of the different departments only worries about and does what their department does. So purchasing only worries about purchasing and what's in their best interest. Accounting only worries about accounting and what's in their best interest. Manufacturing only worries about manufacturing what's in their best interest. Sales, the same thing. 
And what happens is, until you get to very high levels in the organization, there's no coordination of effort. Everybody is just taking care of their own little area of expertise or in their own department, but that makes for huge inefficiencies in an organization, just like it does in an area of study like medicine or helping people with chronic pain. So I wanna be the one that helps tie that all together and shows people a process that they can take themselves through to deal with their personal chronic pain and instead of relying on people outside of them like the government, insurance companies, doctors or experts um, to tell them what's best for them, they need to, they can take back control of that and manage it for themselves to make sure they get what they need throughout the entire process. Since there is no coordinated effort, you need to be your own coordinated effort and you need to, to manage your own healthcare and being and make sure that you get your needs met. And that's what I am creating this, this web class and this 30 day challenge and this process for, for people to really take back their lives and not be at the mercy of other individuals. So <clears throat> I just wanna kind of share what I did with this because I think I found a really cool way to shortcut the process of coming up with and sharing this information with people as part of my online business efforts. So the first thing I did was I came up with my headline. What? It, well, actually, that's not the first thing I did. The first thing I did was I brainstormed and came up with my offer. What am I going to offer to people with chronic pain to help them do exactly what I just said, take back control of their life, their health, and their care and their being so that they can live the life they deserve. And so I brainstormed, I actually sat in it for several hours and over a couple, probably a couple week period, brainstormed all of the things I could possibly help people with who have chronic pain. And I'm focusing on women because I am a woman with chronic pain and so I think I can relate to them more. It doesn't mean I won't work with men and I can't help men and my system won't help men or young people or other people, it just means I want to talk to people that are like me that have had similar experiences as I have. So for example, I'm not creating this or, or anyone could use it who has chronic pain, but I am targeting and going for people like me, women who've had chronic pain um, due to illness and chronic illnesses for a long period of time. So I'm talking decades. Um, for example, this will work for anyone with chronic pain. Uh, my my kids have had been in accidents. Uh, my daughter was in a snowboarding accident. My son-in-law was hurt in a work-related accident, and my son was in a car accident. All of them experience chronic pain on a daily basis, just like I do. But I'm not going to target people, young people in their 20s, who have chronic pain due to accidents or injuries, because that's not where my experience comes from. So I'm, although I know this would help them too, and I, I experiment on them. <laughs> I, I wanna target people that are like me because I can relate to them and I hope that they can relate to me. And I think that they'll know that what I've been through is something similar. It's never the exact same thing because we are all different, but it's similar to something that they've been through. So the first thing I did was I brainstormed my offer. What can I offer people and you know, some of the things I came up with were totally unrealistic. You know, Come to my house, spend a weekend with me, and we will knock this whole thing out for you and, and get this process to work in your life, tailor make it to you, and you'll go home Monday and have your plan and you'll start living your plan and taking back your life. Well, yeah, that's a great idea. However, uh, I've got four animals, three other people, and a house full of clutter. So the last thing I'm gonna do is invite someone to my house. I just made a very painful confession on live video that I have a house full of clutter. Ooh, hoarder, I know this. <laughs> That's pretty scary to admit. So some of the things like that I threw out of the out of the mix because they're just not realistic for me right now. Now, I guarantee I will offer that to people somewhere down the road, but it won't be in my current situation. So that's the first thing I did. Then the second thing I did was I asked myself, what are the three biggest pain points for people like me and for people in the target audience that I'm going for that have chronic pain, what are their three biggest false beliefs? And 
They're false beliefs, and it's, this is interesting, but it's true of anything. And I can say this because I know I was the same way with my business. Um, we all think that our situation is unique and different, which it is, but just because our situation is unique and different doesn't mean we can't learn from and apply systems and processes and procedures that have worked for other people. Number two, um, we often believe, and that's true for anything, any business, and it's just as true for me dealing with people with chronic pain as it is for um, how I felt about my businesses, you know, getting an outside consultant. I would have an outside consultant call me about once a week in my manufacturing business and say they were going to come in and solve all my problems and make everything better for me. <clears throat> and I never believed it because, in part, I knew that they they didn't really care about my business at all and weren't going to come in and solve it. And to me, it always felt like it would be way more work for me to have them come in than to just do it myself because I already knew, I already knew everything that needed to be done in my business and needed to change or be um, continuously improved. I already knew those things. I used to do that in corporate America for a living. My, my job was to um, analyze processes, procedures, and systems and put the right ones in place to ensure that we always had an awesome, consistent quality product. And that always came from having the right processes in place to ensure that the, the process was the same and the product would be the same every time. So I already knew how to do all that stuff. And I, I also didn't believe that they were really there to help me or, or wanted to do what was in my own best interest. They just wanted to do it for money because they were working for a big corporation that did this for a living. Anyway. An aside, total aside. So that was the, the first belief. We always think we're different, and we are, but that doesn't mean we can't model others that have done what we want to do and be successful. Um, <clears throat> we always, and, and when we're looking at an offer or something, we don't believe initially that it would work for us. We, first, we don't believe that it would work, and so I need to show people, here's the system, here's how it works. Then we won't believe it'll work for us. Yeah, okay, we might believe that it would work for, you, you know, it might work for you, Sharon, but it's not going to work for me. And then the third belief we have is that something outside of us has more control than we do and that because of that thing outside of us, the government, pharmaceutical companies, um, big business, or doctors or lawyers or some expert outside of us, somebody, something outside of us, has more control than we do. Again, false belief. And so I needed to come up with statements and secrets and what I'm gonna share on my webinar or my web class with people to help overcome and show them that I had those false beliefs too because we all do and how I overcame them and that they can too. Then the next thing I did was after I did those two things, I, of course, created my, my new opportunity or my new vehicle, which is Chronic Painkillers, and that is <clears throat> my process and system for killing chronic pain in your life and taking back your life. And so after I did those three things, I came up with a headline, and I just wrote two headlines to be part of my, <clears throat> my web class or my PowerPoint presentation or my web page, or my um, an event. I could go do this as a, a live event for people. But I think that people with chronic pain, we need something online because we have to be able to watch it from the comfort of our beds often, or our rocking chair. I'm a big rocker with pillows and blankets and everything else. Um, we have to be able to watch and consume it where it's comfortable and where it works for us, which is part of why I want to do the 30 day challenge because I want to do, I want to break this down into little bite sized pieces because I know there were times when I'm having a flare, if I can get five minutes, that's about all I can muster during the day. So I want to make it consumable for people so that if they can do it in five minute chunks, then that's all they can do. Then they can at least get something out of that five minute chunk that will get them more comfort, get them some relief, and move them toward killing chronic pain in their life. So that's what I wanted to share today. That's what I'm working on today. Today I'm working on, now that I've got these pieces, and I actually built <clears throat> out the funnel already, and a funnel is just an online sales process. So 
in my other life, let's use the manufacturing business as an example. I would do sales calls, call my customers, call on my customers, see what they wanted to purchase for the week. And then we would go about creating and manufacturing those products and then delivering those products to the customer. That was our sales process. Very simple, very easy, which is the way I liked it. And it's the same thing with a funnel. A funnel is just taking that sales process and putting it online to automate it so that it works all the time versus me having to call my customers every week. <clears throat> so that's it. That's what I'm working on today. It, oh, and then I, what I was saying is I need to create the, the slides or PowerPoint. I'm using um, just PowerPoint to create a slideshow and turn this into a slideshow so that I can use it in different mediums and different ways of delivering it to the people I'm trying to reach, the, the women with chronic pain. So that's it. I want to just share my process and kind of document for myself, but also to share it with you because it took me over a year to come up with this simplified process. And so that's pretty powerful. That's it for today. Go out, have an awesome day. I'm going to get to work on this, probably still in my pajamas because I like that. I like that I can because I, I am a firm believer in do what you can with what you've got right now. And if it's what you're doing is moving you toward your goal, even if it's just one simple thing a day, you'll get there. But you got to do something. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.